Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new Destiny 2 Forsaken video. Today we're going to be looking at three different things real quick here. First of all, we're going to start with the new mod that I found, uh, that I got from a Tangled Shore Strike, that increases super recharge rate. As you can see here, I got a piece of Baron armor. Then we're going to be taking a look at the new hidden Gambit emblem that was found, and then we're going to be taking a quick look at a glitch that I came across also with the Oracle offering the part of the bounty for Petra. So first of all, taking a look at this recharge rate for the super. So we're going to spawn in here in a second to the Dreaming City, and then from, as you can see here, sorry before I go ahead of myself, there's the mod there, super mod I think it's called. So from the very first frame that our super starts recharging, we're going to start the timer, and we're going to play all the way through real quick so you guys can see what this looks like. Alright, so we get to the end with the mod, and it takes 4 minutes four minutes and 36 seconds. And then now, without the mod, so I put one of my older helmets on, as you can see here, I put the Vigil of Heroes on, it has no mods, obviously, and I'm going to do the exact same thing here. Alright, we get to the end of that regeneration, as you can see, 4 minutes and 55 seconds. So now let's take a look at both these together. So without the mod, it's 4 minutes 55, and then with the mod, of course, it's 4 minutes 36. So it's about a 9 to 10 second reduction, just taking in my potential error that that might have been there. So, um, yeah, so it's a pretty, pretty decent reduction. Works out to be about 5%-ish, so I'm pretty sure it'll stack if you have all, all, armor, all the armor on, so I think that'll be up to like a 25% reduction, so that's not too bad. Nothing amazing, but nonetheless, it is, it is very nice to have. Now, another quick thing I wanted to show was to do with the Oracle offering and a little bug that I encountered. So as you can see here, I was doing my Tier 3, uh, blind well and on the completion of this tier 3 blind well it was the end of my quest where you had to get a hundred percent total worth of blind well completions now when I redeemed this quest which would should have given me the Oracle offering uh, it did not so I'll show you guys just a second here what actually happens so I'll go into my inventory and I redeem this Oracle offering uh, quest but I do not get I do not get the Oracle offering uh, that was because of a simple glitch, um, it's very very stupid and I feel like it shouldn't be in the game as this works for everything else, but my inventory is full. So this is just a little warning thing that I guess I want to put out, that if your inventory is full, do not redeem the uh, 
uh, quest that rewards the Oracle offering. As you can see here, I also go to my Postmaster and bam, there is nothing in there. It got just straight up deleted. So it's just a little warning. Next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the Gambit emblem that was that was found. So in this here requires your teammates to all four teammates at once to do deposit 15 motes. So when your deposits all when your team deposits 15 motes all at once, you will get this uh, secret emblem that's in the game. It's pretty cool. It tracks how many motes you've deposited over the lifetime of the game, which I'll show you guys just in a minute here. But as you can see here, we're just taking out these blockers. And we all come up to, to the moat station and then we get ready to bank. Taking out these knights and cabal taken. Alright, now once that's done, we come up to the bank and then we all deposit at once. And then straight away you'll see the triumph at the bottom and that emblem is now unlocked. Now when you go into your triumphs, which I'll show just in a second, you go into the gambit uh, triumph section and then you go to the team or teamwork. Yes, yeah, so we go to the gambit lifetime. And then we just go through here, just follow what I do. Uh, I forget what it's called exactly, but uh, we do end up finding finding where the emblem is. It on the right there with all my team that got it, and like I said before, it tracks also the amount of motes that you uh, that you've banked in your lifetime of playing Gambit in Destiny 2 Forsaken. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, just me covering three things really quick. If you did enjoy or learned something, leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll catch you all on the next one.